Let's start off with something you recently said uh, about tax cuts for the wealthy. You said that the idea that they would create jobs is nonsense, that they, those rates are where they are uh, now and have been for a while. They haven't created jobs. I wanted to find out from you, do you think that it's also nonsense, the idea that if taxes go up on the wealthy, they may create fewer jobs? Yeah, I don't think that's the case. And what we're proposing is that we instead provide tax relief for small businesses, entities that really are small businesses. Under the proposal that you're hearing from the other side that would provide tax breaks to the folks at the very top, the top 2%, uh, under that definition of small businesses, you include KKR, major you know, leveraged buyout firm, uh, Fortune 100 companies, a whole range of Washington lobbying firms. Uh, we don't think those are small businesses. We think we're much better off providing tax relief to small businesses uh, that really are the engines of uh, the economy and jobs. And that is a much more efficient and better way to get the economy going than something that provides a break to the top 2% and adds $700 billion to the deficit. So it's not that there's, that it's not that there's no role for tax relief and incentives. It's just, it's been proven that just giving it to the folks at the very top is not the miracle cure they pretend it would be. Uh, other, otherwise, we would see uh, good growth right now and over the last nine years, when in fact over the last nine years we've seen losses of millions of jobs. So it's sort of been proven that that's not a great way to rev up the economy. Let's, let's give that relief to truly small businesses. And unfortunately, just the other day, they voted against a bill here in the House to provide easier access to credit for small businesses and greater tax relief. Now the President's proposed 100% depreciation right off through 2011. That's the kind of thing we can do. But it's not just Republicans who want to see the rates extended for the wealthy. You've got about 40 Democrats that are out there on the record saying that they want to see that extended as well and that they don't want to go out and campaign after having passed legislation to just extend it for the middle class, leaving uh, the wealthy out in the cold. How do you reconcile those two things? It seems like the majority of the House, mostly Republicans, some Democrats, is in that place where they want to extend those tax rates. Here's the difference, and it's a very important difference. You're not finding Democrats saying, let's provide a permanent tax cut for the folks at the very top. There may be a few, uh, but certainly not the 36. Because they recognize that if you do that, you blow a big hole in the budget. You add $700 billion uh, to the deficit. The Republican position is, let's go ahead and blow that hole in the deficit. Let's give the folks at the very top a permanent uh, tax break right now. In fact, they're pushing that so much that they, they're adhering to what I call the Noah's Ark theory. They're, they are literally holding middle class tax cuts hostage uh, to tax cuts for the, very, for the very top. And they're saying, if you want a one year extension for 98% of the American people on tax relief, you got to give it to the other 2% at the top. If you want a two year extension, you got to give it to everybody. It's the, it's the pairing, you know, everyone's going onto the arc together. Two by two. They, two by two. They are holding middle class tax cuts hostage because they know if there's ever a break in that connection that they won't be able to get back the tax cuts for the folks at the very top and the KKRs of the world, the big Washington lobbying firms of the world hedge funds, companies that are in Fortune 100. These are not the small businesses that come to mind uh, for most the American people when they think of small businesses. Most people are thinking of mom and pop or smaller operations, not the biggest Washington law firms. That's who they want to help. We're targeting our efforts at the real job creators uh, in this country.